What you have to be careful of is being able to separate or at least recognize what are remains from those items that are from the inside of a structure, such as we have here, or from any other debris that might be around. We've exposed the entire set of remains as best we can. We are now ready to document their cremains, as it were, in their position, such as this upper end of a femur or thigh bone. If we turn this over, we can see that there are many shades as far as the color of the burn is concerned. And we have to remember that a body does not burn evenly. The material that is white is going to, is basically been exposed to the fire for a much longer time and generally at a higher temperature. Darker means less time in the fire. However, regardless of that, we can see that there are a great many fractures. The fractures and the recovery process are important to us because we have to be able to distinguish fractures that are caused by the heat or fractures that may have occurred as a result of some sort of trauma, such as a gunshot wound, 